check that out folks looks like we got our first swarm of the year <laughs> isn't that the coolest All right. Well, I guess we got some work to do. <laughs> so cool. So hopefully somewhere there's a queen in there. Got my box set up. Hopefully uh, they'll uh, move in. But I'm just surrounded in bees. This is so awesome. You can see how the uh, swarm is starting to weigh down that uh, branch. Getting awfully heavy, so what I'll do is I'll put my nuke box underneath it and uh, see if they'll just crawl in. Okay, well... You can see I'm kind of fanning on the box. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they're awfully interested. And you see their butt sticking up in the air. They're uh, setting off a pheromone. Sorry, I got tongue tied for a second. But um, setting off pheromones to tell the other bees that they're interested in the hive and they're wanting to make this their home. So hopefully this will be a quick and easy swarm catch. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Let me uh, show you that bees, when they're swarming, are very docile because they're trying to find a home. So they're not, there's nothing to really protect. So uh, last thing they want to do is sting me and waste precious resources. Okay, well, it's been quite a while and they weren't really moving in quickly. So I decided to maybe help them out a little bit. I cut the branches down and uh, hopefully I can kind of coax them a little better in and just lay them down onto the box. I think the sun and the wind and, you know, storms that have been rolling through all morning kind of making them a little testy and not sure what to do. So. Hopefully this will coax them a little bit. You can see a slight march. I think they're finally starting to get the hint. <laughs> oh, one of my biggest problems is I am not, not um, one to take my time. I rush things a lot. But... Okay, minor mistake. One of the branches fell. I kind of spooked them when that branch fell. Hoo wee Look at that mess of bees in the air. Cross my fingers. <laughs> All right. Temporary hiccup, maybe. Yeah, they're coming back. I just need to find that queen and see if I can't get them to calm down. This wind is really making them struggle. But. They're back to the hive and starting to fan a little bit, so cross their fingers. Well, they're finally calmed down, despite all this wind. <laughs> I cut the branch down and uh, put a rock on top of it so it doesn't blow away this time, but they've gotten awfully quiet, so I am uh, pretty darn sure the queen is in there. Um, give them some time, let them finish moving in. And uh, when I come back, I'll uh, open the hive up, see if I can't find her, and uh, show her to you. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, welcome back, folks. It's been about a week since this swarm was caught. 
Uh, let's see if we can't open it up and see if we can't find the queen and see how they're doing. Got plenty of uh, comb built. If you look right here, let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Right there in the middle, all that shiny stuff is uh, fresh nectar. So they're definitely bringing in stuff here. You can see it there as well. That's all nectar that will later become honey. Ooh, and I see eggs. Let's see here. Hopefully you can see that right there. All those little grains of rice inside the honeycomb cells. Those are eggs. Those are baby bees. So obviously the queen is around. Hopefully you can find her and we'll show her to you. Oh wow, there's tons of larvae here. Move the camera for a second. That's, there we go. Now, if you look down in there, you'll see all them little caterpillar looking things. That's larva. And uh, once they get big enough, they'll cap the cells off and they'll go into the, uh, I think that's the chrysalis stage, or whatever. It's kind of like a butterfly. They'll make a cocoon inside there and eventually pop out in a few weeks as a brand new bee. There she is. Wow, she is a big girl too. All right, right there in the middle. Man, she is a big girl. See her folks? Man, I've never seen a queen look like that. She's very striped. Most of the queens I see are more just golden all the way down, but you can tell her longer body. That's our queen. And she looks very healthy. All right, let's put her back. Oops, sorry for kicking the camera there. Put her back and uh, call it a successful swarm catch. All right, folks. Well, I guess that's a successful swarm catch. That's the first of 2022. The colony's doing great. The queen looks very healthy, and I can't wait to see how this colony performs in the future. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more of these videos in the future. And until next time, don't forget, support your local beekeeper.